Orthopedics is not easy. Teaching orthopedics is hard. We try to simplify teaching orthopedics, but it's still not easy. We are constantly changing our teaching techniques and our methods. In my opinion, the best way for teaching orthopedics is to teach concepts. I think it's more effective to teach by linking the concepts together. So we find the concepts and then we find something in common between the concepts and link the concepts together. And here there is an example. The resident is presenting a case and in the patient's history, the patient has hypothyroidism. So we take the word hypothyroidism and we expand it. So let's start. Hypothyroidism can lead to a slipped capital femoral epiphysis. A slipped epiphysis from hypothyroidism is an endocrine disorder. It can be bilateral, it occurs in younger age, and the patient will need fixation of both hips. The hypothyroidism can also cause a frozen shoulder. Diabetes is another endocrine problem that can cause frozen shoulder. Diabetes is also known to give charcoal joint for the foot and the ankle. Charcoal joint may be confused with osteomyelitis. In a patient that has painless dislocation of the foot and the ankle, get blood chemistry, the patient may have a charcoal joint caused by diabetes. On the other hand, a charcoal shoulder may alert you to syringomyelia of the C-spine. The humeral head is dissolved and disappeared. Get MRI of the C-spine. We just talked about the C-spine. Is there anything else where the diabetes can affect the spine? Yes. Maternal diabetes may give us a sacral agenesis. The patient is observed to have a sitting Buddha position. Diabetes may also be associated with DASH. Get hemoglobin A1c. With the dish, the vertebra are not one block as you see in enclosing spondylitis. In dish, some vertebrae are fused and some are not. The dish should be differentiated from enclosing spondylitis, which will have a bamboo spine. The vertebrae are fused. In enclosing the spondylitis, you will get the HLA B27. In this example, we strategically connected a lot of concepts together rather than deal with each issue in isolation. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.